hope this isn't going where I think it's going. Uh, for those of you that don't know that this thing's a rusty pile of shit, um, this is 25 feet of brake line. So now you do know that it's a rusty pile of shit. <sighs> well, my brake line rusted out the other day, so we're going to replace all of them. In case you think that lowering your car it's a good idea. You're wrong. I can't even. I can't even get my car. I can't even get the jack out of my car. It's time to use these again. Without brakes this time. What could possibly go wrong? Everything. Yeah. So in my car. Washing. I don't know how we're gonna do this actually, because we have no way of stopping the car. But also drive it up there, there and I'll hold it. I don't know about the jack handle thing. We've got two lug wrenches, um, a couple of rusty screwdrivers, an awful lot of water, um, and a quarter inch wrench. That's good. Well, it was a good start. You ready? Sure. Oh, it's moving. Oh, it's, it's, it's happening. It's Jack is making me... Uh, maybe not. <laughs> it's a little close. single um, motion. What? I'm gonna continue photographing. This side's really not that bad. It's not that bad, but it's also not that good. Or maybe there's just still undercoating over the expanding foam. I think that's what it is. Everything is fucked, dude. Probably. Since everything is going to be a part, and since I have a lot of money that I had budgeted toward a motorcycle. Do you want me to spray everything then? Literally every bolt and fitting. That's for the brakes. Yeah. Okay. No, just bathe the car. I mean, I can. It might make the rust go away. I don't think it will. I can't believe you got the suspension in here, though, with how rusty everything else is. It, I mean, it must have been done real recently. And real 
quickly without any effort. Um, well, we're making use of our favorite uh, lubricant that I can't show you the name of. Um, because there's a lot of rust. A lot of fucking rust. Um, and that means that a lot of broken bolts, unless we use all of this. So, we're going to use all of this. I bought three cans. Um, I'm pretty sure we've sprayed every nut and bolt. You got a 10 millimeter impact socket? Not like right now, but like, if you do, we can make quite a lot of use of it. Probably not an impact. You got a 10 millimeter socket we can put on the impact? Yeah, it's 12 point though. Oh, that's bad. Very. Especially with an impact. So I'm pretty sure that half of these are fuel lines. I'd imagine so. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of those are pretty rusty. Don't use rusty screwdrivers. <laughs> they break. Glad that uh, I made the executive decision to swap those out. What? The rotors, no. pads, whatnot. All the really fucked up shit. Some rough shit. Man. For how much rust and grime there is, this car has been spectacular to take apart. Your it's car gonna slip off, dude. No, it's fine. This is the worst angle. Why did they put the rotor or the caliper where they did? Get the hammer. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were gonna fall. Good thing we bought new rotors. You don't need these rotors, right? No. Wait, don't hit it. Wasn't going to. I just did that. For, I know, but for idiot reasons. To tell. See what happens when you spray PB behind it, Adam? I did! No, you didn't! I did! Look at this one! Ah! Nine! Austin, we get it, you can't count to ten. Have I ever told you, um, okay, so at work, when we get a car with like a broken out window, we've got to wrap it with white plastic, right? Yeah. Um, have I ever told you what our scale is for how tight it needs to be? Uh-uh. Mario says that it needs to be tighter than a virgin's butthole. That's, that's the end of the story. You're really muffled and it's pretty funny. Okay, Austin. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I hope that comes out on the video.